Hey guys, what's up? It's the champ and you're listening to Tarver's Take. Man, I gave you the breakdown of Caleb Plant's keys to victory. And right now, I'm going to shed a little light on what I believe Canelo has to do to secure victory tonight in the, unif in the undisputed super middleweight championship. Well, I just believe, man, uh, I believe Canelo is in his stride. I say that because the man has been pound for pound for a couple years running now. Hasn't had a hiccup since that one loss to Floyd Mayweather Jr. And he's pretty much handled and dominated all of the competition they put in front of him right now in his weight class. And when you look at Caleb Plant, I can only go to one fight. It's the last fight that Canelo had with B.J. Saunders. When you look at B.J. Saunders and you look at Caleb Plant, I mean, these two guys, they, they try to do some of the same things. BJ, and I'll never forget that fight he had against Lemieux. Man, he looked he looked beautiful. And I thought at that time, anybody BJ would have fought, he would have gave problems with that style. But sometime when you got a monster in front of you with those crushing knockout blows, all of that game plan stuff goes out the window, you know? And I believe once Canelo start touching Caleb Plant, I believe the end will be near. Can Caleb Plant take those crushing blows to the head and devastating blows to the body, you know, and still keep his conditioning, still stay fresh, stay quick, stay elusive, stay in his on his game plan? Can he stay out front of Canelo long enough until Canelo starts questioning himself? He's going to have to put doubt in Canelo's head. I think we're going to need to see Caleb Plant box superior superior to uh, Canelo. That means he has to make him look like a fish out of water. You know, uh, when I look back at Ali and George Foreman, I feel like, you know, uh, when you look at the punching power in this fight, Canelo is George Foreman and, 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 and Caleb Plant is Ali. No one ever thought Ali could stop and knock out George Foreman because he wasn't considered a puncher. People thought that, of course, if Ali was going to win, he would have to rob a dope, you know, stick and move, float like a butterfly. But we saw a whole different Ali. You know, he had the right strategy and he stuck to it. He was mentally strong enough to impose his will on George Foreman. Can Caleb Plant impose his will on Canelo and make Canelo doubt himself, doubt that he is the number one fighter in the world, pound for pound. And can these two fighters trade places? That's what we're going to see tonight. I doubt that very seriously because I know what that type of mental fortitude takes. I know what that takes inside. He's going to have to break Canelo. And the only way I see someone breaking Canelo is punishing Canelo with power shot, clean boxing, hitting him with combination punches repeatedly, swelling him up, maybe even cutting him and just making him, just boxing him so superior that he doubts everything he's accomplished thus far. That's the type of focus Caleb Plant is going to have to have if he's going to walk away with all the belts tonight and claim the undisputed championship. Well, there you have it. That's my take on both guys' keys to victory. Enjoy this fight tonight. I know it's going to be one to remember. And you've been listening to Taurus Take. Until the next time we talk.